Good morning! I thought I would pick the camera up and vlog today. Today is going to be a day of prepping the living room to decorate for Christmas later in the week. I have a lot of stuff I need to take care of today. But first, Echo, turn on coffee. Okay. I need coffee. It's a little cold in here. I might start a fire. Echo, what's the weather like today? Currently, in Portland, it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect showers with a high of 50 degrees and a low of 38 degrees. Brr. Yeah, I think I'm going to start a fire after I get my coffee. That's better. Now I can start my day. Cheers. Oh, delightful. So a couple weeks ago, I was at Walmart shopping, picking up random supplies and whatnot. And I happened to notice their Christmas stuff was out. So I took a peek. I have always wanted a black Christmas tree. And guess what I found? I found this guy for $39. It's kind of hard to see the picture because of shadowing. But there it is. So we are going to be putting that together later this week. But in the meantime, I need to make space for it. I was hoping it would fit right here where Mr. Bones is. I kept him out for a reason. I'm going to put a little Santa hat on him and a scarf and have him in the tree like he's decorating the tree. I think that would be really cute. But anyway, this tree is 6.5 feet tall. I haven't had a tree that tall in a very, very long time. I've been using like little tiny two-foot Charlie Brown trees just because I haven't had the room. We're making room this year, though. But it's too, too wide to fit in that space right there. So my next thing is this cabinet has to go. So this cabinet here used to have brackets that held the TV. And then when we rearranged the living room, we ended up putting the TV up on the wall here. We got a wall bracket for it. I like it much better up there. So we took the brackets off of this, and it's just been just a cabinet instead of a TV stand. So we also got rid of our DVD player and our Wii because we just didn't use them. We're just downsizing, getting rid of unnecessary things that we don't need anymore. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of DVDs anymore, so it didn't make sense to keep the DVD player and all that. So basically, the stuff that's in this cabinet is just random. It needs to be sorted through. It's become kind of a catch-all for everything as we come in the house. And I don't like that. Um, I do know that some of the stuff in the main shelf here is stuff that's normally on my mantle when it's not a holiday. So what I'm going to do with that stuff is put it in a box and then I am going to wrap the box like it's a present and put that under the tree. That way it's still in the living room, out of the way, and then after Christmas I'll unbox it and put it back where it belongs. So I need to go through everything else and see what we have, figure out what's garbage, what can be donated, and what I'm keeping and find a better place for it. And then this thing, it's all scratched up, dinged, and it just looks like crap. I'm going to tear it apart and get rid of it. I do feel kind of bad because both Skye and Shorty use it to uh, look out the window. They jump on this little cat perch and then jump up on the cabinet and look out the window. Well, I have something coming today that I ordered from Amazon. Hopefully they don't take all day to get it here because that will be part of today's video putting it together. I found a really good deal on a cat tree that will be perfect for them. It's got many uh, perch levels, so they'll both enjoy that very much. I'm going to put that 
here in front of the window instead of the cabinet. And then that should free up more space for the Christmas tree as well. It'll also make this walkway right here less crowded. Oh, excuse you. Shorty just belched. Hey, Shorty. You want to say hi? Say hi to the vlog. We're vlogging today, honey. She's wearing her little sweater. It is a little chilly down here. I'm going to start a fire. You want a fire? Let's get a fire going. Fire's coming along. I have a stack of leftover uh, scrap pieces of 2x4s and whatnot from when we worked on my parents' deck this past summer. We brought all the untreated wood home and I thought it'd be great firewood. So I'm hoping that that's the case. I just got a notification that um, Amazon's four stops away. I forgot I had also ordered blackout curtains for this front window. I have been wanting blackout curtains for this window for the longest time. These curtains are so old. They're a little faded in spots. There's lots of little tiny holes from when Sky was a kitten. She climbed the curtains, so there's all these tiny holes in it. They're not quite uh, wide enough for the entire window, which is why I have this black scarf draped around it to kind of fill the holes where the curtain doesn't cover. I'm excited these curtains are coming. They should be a little bit wider and a lot thicker because they're blackout curtains and they're black. So it's going to look really good in here on that window. So we will be installing those today as well. The um, cat tree says that it's scheduled to be delivered today before 10 p.m. Oh my god, that's late. Hopefully it doesn't come that late. I don't want to sit around all day waiting. We'll see. Hopefully we can get that put together today because that's part of my plan. I um, I just lit this candle that I got from my friend Cricket. It smells like pomegranate and it is so wonderful. I love that. I forgot when I was at Walmart and I got that tree. I also got this canister of ornament balls. There's 26 of them and they were only $4.98. And then the tree comes pre-lit. It has lights on it that are white lights so that'll be really cool. I have a string of red lights that I'm hoping are still good. I won't know until we decorate for Christmas later this week. But I'm kind of thinking I want my main Christmas colors to be black and red, and then we'll throw in random, fandom, I didn't mean to rhyme, but I just did. We'll throw in fandom ornaments and whatever I have, because I don't have a huge budget to go out and buy all new ornaments. We'll just do that eventually, like after Christmas I'm going to hit some of the sales and get a few things. Plus, we have a 3D printer, I can make my own. Ooh, that'll be fun, and then that gives me something to vlog working on later in the month of December. Great idea! Holy crap. Um, I guess I'm going to put the camera down and wait for Amazon to get here. I was going to start the cabinet, but you know the second I start, there'll be a knock at the door. <laughs> it always happens. So, I'm going to wait for Amazon. Curtains are here! So, it's time to get rid of these nasty things. I was trying to undo these while I was waiting. I don't have the proper tools, unfortunately. Pete is out of town at the moment for a work trip and he's got the good tool bag with him. So I'm dealing with pathetic tools. This is my Phillips and I have a flathead that's the same size. I do have uh, an electric one, but it only has a Phillips head. I can't find the flathead bit for it. I have that on the charger so that when the cat tree gets here, hopefully it'll be fully charged and we can use that instead of these 
ridiculous things. I am going to keep digging around in my toolbox and see what else I can find. This is sad. <laughs>
Love that. It's very calming. We have James D. Stark, who's a Portland musician. And then my friends, uh, Bill and his wife Eve, they did a kids CD. It's called Uncle B and Auntie E. It's adorable. So we're definitely keeping that. Hi, Shorty. Are you helping me? Good girl. Then we have a bunch of old videotapes, the 8mm. I'm definitely hanging on to those just for nostalgia. I did get um, them all transferred to the laptop last year. My Aunt Marilyn let me borrow her Sony camera, her old handy cam video camera, and we transferred them all last year. So that was cool. And one of these is uh, my wedding. So that's kind of cool just to have that to, to look back on. So we definitely want to hang on to those. Hi. These are um, postcards and, and random things from some of our travels that I definitely want to hang on to. Just again for nostalgia, memories, keepsakes. Um, I have a huge box of, oh, heavy box of candles. When I had a power outage last, I gathered as many candles throughout the house and put them in this loot crate box, and it's pretty full. Shorty, honey. See, look at all those candles. So we're prepared. I'm going to put them upstairs under my dresser so that I know where they're at. My favorite jar candle. It smells like oranges. I'm going to put that by my bed. Do you remember this? When you were the jack in the box? This was your cone head. <laughs> yeah. That was your cone hat. Do you want to keep it? Yeah, it's not gonna take up a whole lot of space. So we'll just we'll hang on to that for now. In case we want to do Jack in the Box again. Um, this was Monument Valley. I think we're gonna put that upstairs. Put that in the office. And then what's left? There's a pile of random cables and cords and stuff. I don't know what they are, so I'm not going to just throw them out. So I have a pile behind me that I'm going to give to Pete to look through and let him sort and throw them out. And then this stuff, these are business cards that need to go out into the photo booth stuff. I found a little Christmas candle ring that might come in handy when I decorate. And then my mist maker from Halloween. I don't know why I put it in there. I should have went in with all the other Halloween stuff. There's a reason I left it out. I just don't know what that is yet. Maybe fall favorites, because I do like this. This is pretty cool, but I just don't know why I'd save it for Christmas stuff. Weird. Anyway, that's that. What's next? I need to clean up my mess and I need a vacuum and I should probably wash some towels. And you know, boring house stuff. You guys don't need to see that. I'll come back hopefully in a couple hours and hopefully we'll have the cat tree here and we'll be putting it together. If not, this may become a multi-day vlog. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. Hi. We should get some lunch. Is it too early for lunch? Echo? What time is it? It's 10.15 a.m. Happy oh, Thursday. It's 10.15 a.m. <laughs> okay, well, maybe it's a little early for lunch. I haven't had breakfast, so maybe I'll have breakfast. I've only had coffee. All right, let's do that. Let's get something to eat. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Yeah, let's go.
it just a few minutes ago. There was a package delivered from FedEx. I forgot Pete ordered more of the Flash Forge, uh, whatever these are, for the tray for the 3D printer. It goes on the platform. Oh, there's a box of three. And I almost threw away the box, but then I remembered this is the time of the time of year you should save boxes for presents. Not that I'm going to be buying a whole lot of presents, but I may need to make some fake presents for under the tree just to fill the space, depending on how my cat and dog react to it. So this is the first time we've had an actual full-size tree, so oh, I may have to fill it because I don't know what they're going to do. They'll most likely want to go under there and sleep. I'm afraid Sky might try to climb it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I've been sitting here just waiting and waiting. I know waiting, it's not going to show up if I wait. I need to actually go and do something and then it'll show up. Um, but yeah, I'm still waiting on the cat tree. But while I was here, I was looking at these curtains and they are really, really wrinkled. So I pulled out my, my steamer. I'm going to steam those here really soon. And I love them the more and more I look at it. So I think I'm going to find some that fit the sliding glass door in the same color blackout and all that and put that on my wish list as well. Santa, you get this? Blackout curtains for my sliding glass door, the five arm spider lamp for behind my sofa, and I would like hardwood flooring put in my living room downstairs area, which we could DIY do it ourselves. So maybe Home Depot gift card? Maybe, please? Oh, yes. So I think the theme for Christmas this year is going to be home improvement, changing things up, decorating. Yeah, it needs to be done. Because I don't know when we'll be able to travel again. Usually we gift each other the gift of travel. You know, Pete and I, we purchase things for a trip that we want to do. Like last Christmas, we bought Disneyland Park tickets, which we still have. We haven't been able to use them yet. <sighs> so that trip will still happen eventually. We just don't know when. Disneyland doesn't even know when. They're still closed. Anyway, 2021, you better be better than 2020 has been for us. Oh, this is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to steam and still keep waiting for the cat tree. I know, Shorty, you want to look out the window. I put that little thing there. Is that not good enough? Oh, once the tree gets put up later in the week, I'm going to take that stupid clamp lamp down because I think it looks tacky and it kind of will be in the way of the tree anyway. So that'll go away for the time being. Anyway, ah, I gotta get steaming. better not as wrinkled I mean there's still some wrinkles I couldn't get all of them but not too bad plus it gave me something to do uh, so I, I vacuumed also and obviously I got the cabinet out of here on my own I forgot I had a hand truck in my garage so I just hand trucked the whole beast out because I couldn't get it to come apart and I didn't want to like use the mallet and make a whole bunch of noise that was scaring shorty and I don't want to disturb my neighbors, so I just hand trucked it out to the garage, and then later when Pete's here, I'll have him take the saw to it, and we'll just break it up into pieces and throw it away, or just take it to the dump as it is. If it wasn't, like, pressured, pressure, I don't know what's the right wording, um, treated. If it wasn't treated wood, like with the staining on it, 
I would have just thrown it in the fireplace, but we're not going to do that <laughs> because it had, you know, staining and whatnot. I think it was heavy. Holy moly. It's good to have it gone. Oh, I can't wait to get the cat tree put together and then start decorating for Christmas. Christmas tree here. Decorate the mantle. Oh, hurry up, Amazon. Hurry up. Several, several hours later, it's finally here. This thing's heavy. I'm going to break into this box and start putting it together because it is, what time is it? Echo, what time is it? It's 7.51 p.m. 7.51 p.m. Stay dry out there. Thanks. 7.51 p.m. Wow. So, yeah. <sighs> I've been so bored waiting for this to get here. I've been keeping busy. I vacuumed upstairs. I did a load of laundry. I had dinner. Um, I brought in my Christmas totes and started sorting through them to figure out what I'm going to use when I decorate and what I'm not going to use. And then... I ended up finding a project that I want to paint. So I'm working on that. Um, oh, anyway, let's get this cat tree together so I can end the vlog and get cleaned up and get ready for bed. did it. I'm glad there was a picture because the instructions are not in English. I don't even know what language this is, but I just used the picture diagram and it turned out pretty cool. They ended up putting their other little cat thing there too to have an extra little step. I hope that the girls like this. I'm excited to go get Sky or Shorty, whoever is nearest, and test it out. See how they like it. And hopefully they can figure out how to get in the window. I better pull it out just a little bit further just to give up. There we go. Nice. It doesn't stick out too much. Nice amount of walk space through there with the coats. Looks good. I think I did all right. With that said, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a much longer vlog, so if you made it this far to the very end, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in my next video, which will be decorating for Christmas. We're going to be putting up the Christmas tree. All right. Bye, guys.